<laughs> but that's not all. When I went to look for them again, they were on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, Discord, I've never known any pony as funny as you. I love that story about the time you tried to train your right paw <laughs> to pet your left leg. <laughs> oh, I do love our Tuesday teas. And I can't wait for you to meet my friend Tree Hugger. She's going to love you, too. Tree Hugger? <laughs> I met her on a trip to see the Breezies. She's a member of the Equestrian Society for the Preservation of Rare Creatures. How nice for you. We're all going to have so much fun together at the Grand Galloping Gala. Oh, I was wondering when you were going to ask me. I'd love to. Oh, oh no. Um, I'm afraid I've already asked Tree Hugger. I'm sorry, Discord. I assumed you'd have your own ticket since you and Princess Celestia are friends now. Were you not invited? Who? Me? It probably got lost in the mail. No biggie, as the foals say. Well, gotta go. But we haven't had any of our Tuesday tea cakes. Well, I guess we're just going to have to exclude them from our party this time. Oh, oh, did I say that? Oh, uh, I mean, ta-ta. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? <sighs> Where's Twilight? She's in Canterlot helping Princess Celestia with the gala. <laughs> oh, your first grand galloping gala. The excitement, the anticipation. I wouldn't miss this for all the jewels in Equestria. We're going, going to the, the gala. gala. We're, We're going, going to the gala. gala. We're going to the gala. All right, y'all. Keep it down. It ain't like it's a life-changing experience or nothing. Sisters all grown up. Hey! <laughs> this is gonna be the best night ever! I don't suppose that uh, these adorable little cutie pies have their own tickets to the gross, gruesome gala, do they? <clears throat> To answer your rather rude question, they're going as our dates, our plus ones. We're plus ones! We're plus ones! We're plus ones! Yes, 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 I believe I got that. Yeah! Have a wonderful, special, fantastic day. Oh, hi, Discord. Want some cake? I can give you a list of all the flavors we have in order of most delicious to incredibly, unbelievably delicious. Actually, Pinkie Pie, who are you taking to... I mean, do you... Oh, you know what? I am famished. I'll take all the cakes. All of them? He wants all of the cakes! Well, I'll need all my energy when I'm dancing at the gala, if I decide to go, that is. Oh, by the way, are you bringing any ponies? Oh, of course! I was gonna ask my mom because she's, you know, my mom. But it turned out she didn't want to go. So I started asking around and around and around. I couldn't think of any pony and I was about to just go by myself. And then I realized, of course, who loves fancy, exciting affairs more than any pony else? My sister, Maud! You know what? Cancel my order. You want none of the cakes now? <laughs> oh my, you are funny. <laughs> I guess every being in Equestria is funny today. Oh, how rude of me. Tree Hugger, this is Discord. Discord, Tree Hugger. Radical to meet you. Really digging your vibe. My vibe? It's a compliment. 
Oh, well, I'm sure it is. Well, I must be off. It has nothing to do with seeing you or not seeing you. You can rest assured of that. <laughs> Have fun at the gala. Righteous. Oh, tree hugger, you're such a great friend. So much funnier than unfunny old Discord. No, no, here, take my plus one. I insist. Before some pony else thinks he's my friend and expects to be asked instead. What's that? Your worried Discord might be upset. Not a problem. I can make more new friends anytime I want. It's not as if any of this actually mattered. I don't even want to go to the gala anyway. Are you perhaps looking for me? Are you Discord or current resident? I can't find any street numbers in this place. My ticket to the Grand Galloping Gala. I was invited after all. Why is this so late? Well, I got a little lost after I escaped the Flying Badgers. Can you point me in the direction of the bottomless pit? I think I can make my way back from there. Oh, uh, over there somewhere. Just, just go over there. Looks like I'll see you at the gala after all, Fluttershy. But I can't show up alone. She'll think that she's my only friend. Who could I bring on such short notice? <laughs> I must say, it's been very nice having you take over some of the planning responsibilities for this year's gala. Anything I can do to make it easier on you. Thank you, Twilight. I am quite looking forward to just enjoying the gala for once. Announcing the spirit of chaos, Discord, and his guest, the... Uh, the Smooze! Good evening, every pony. What a glorious affair. He does have a yen for shiny things. The rascal. I'll take care of this. <laughs> what are you doing here with that? Now, now, now. The smooth may be an it, but it's an it with a heart of, well, blob. This night is extremely important to me, Discord. Keep it under control. Yes, 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 of course. Tell me, have you seen Fluttershy anywhere? We're here! We're here! We made it to the gala! <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. The aura coming off the waterfall was so alive, so like magic and manifestation. Wow. Oh, Fluttershy, I didn't see you there. How did you even know to look for an aura on a waterfall? <clears throat> <clears throat> Discord, I thought you weren't coming. No, I actually never said that. But funny how you remembered it that way. Anyway, good to see you, tree friend, is it? Your name is slipping my mind right now. How strange. Nice to meet you. I'm Tree Hugger. Blessings. You have met me before, actually. Cool. Like in another life, maybe? You've got to be kidding. You don't remember me? <laughs> I meet a lot of different creatures. Each one of them perfect and unique. Yes, well, as I was saying, it's just great to be here with my oldest, bestest friend. Am I really your oldest, bestest friend? You? <laughs> of course not. 
You think I don't have other friends? I'm centuries old. I was talking about the smooze. Smooze face, the smoozinator. Well, I mean, that's what we called them back in college. Smooze! I would like you to meet Fluttershy and, um, a tree, what is it? Oh, a tree embrace? Oh, I like that. It's so in rhythm with my life force. Maybe I'll change it. <laughs> I can't believe I've never heard you speak of the smooths before. It sounds like you two are so close. Well, I'm glad you got that. Because that's what is true. We are very close. That's wonderful. The four of us should go out to dinner sometime. We should all go out to dinner sometime? Have you no heart? Oh, oh, it looks like some pony wants to mingle. We'll be back in a bit. Oh, okay. Treasy and I would love to talk to you more later. Treasy? Really? Sort of a juvenile nickname, don't you think? <laughs> Smoozy! Wait up! Now listen, Smooth. I need to make this a party of one for a little while. Just stay out here until I come for you. <laughs> What's so funny? Exactly! Uh, I think we're gonna go hit the dance floor. Fluttershy, tell the hugs here about the time that we went to the store and came back with two cakes instead of one, because that's how crazy we are when we're together. Um, we went to the store and got two cakes. Oh. Well, you kind of left out all the fun and frivolity there. But I'm sure you got it, tree hugger. I got that you really like cake. We like each other. That was the point. I'm actually pretty lukewarm about cake. <coughs> that creature took my jewels! Discord, I thought I told you to keep your friend under control. Oh, please. I have better things to do than to watch that thing all night. <laughs> well, what I mean to say is that thing is a dear, dear friend, and I'll make sure that the ooze uh, that he can't help but secrete doesn't get on any pony else. Thank you. It's all right, every pony. Let's just get back to enjoying this magical evening. You are making me look like a fool in front of Fluttershy. I'll be back when the gala is over. I've never known any pony as funny as you. Check, check, check. Is this thing on? Good evening, fillies and germs. I just flew into Canterlot, and wow, are my inner species parts tired. I've only got these tiny, mismatched wings, and even I can fly better than Twilight Sparkle. Am I right? But you... Hey! <laughs> uh, well, perhaps you're into more observational humor. <laughs> Did you ever notice how you always materialize out of thin air? Why not thick air? What's the deal there? <coughs> Tough crowd. What is he doing? I think they're jokes. Not jokes! My favorite. An ordinary Knock, knock. You're supposed to say who's there. This is the most basic of jokes. You're the most basic of jokes.
magic works on this ooze. Can you stop it? I'm afraid not. Discord, how could you bring him here? Oh, he's not that bad. <gasps> My shoes will be ruined forever. That's what you're worried about? Really? This is kind of a bummer. Isn't it, though? And to think it never would have happened had I come to the gala as some pony else's plus one. Seems like something might have harshed his flow, you know? Like his senses are agitated. You don't know anything about rare creatures. I've known Smooth's face for ages. He's not agitated. He's partying down. Whoa! All he needs is some, like, calming auditory therapy. I know, I always feel really at peace when I'm being bathed in positive vibes. Maybe he'll calm down with some sonic bliss. Do you even know what you just said? Your magic doesn't work on him. He only responds to vibrations that piece out his energy fields. Stop it! Stop it! That's it! I am done with you, tree hugger. Oh, man. You're really bumming me out. Can you just, like, blur your voice a skosh? A skosh? A skosh? I'm not going to hurt you. I'm simply going to send you to another dimension. I can't have you interfering in my relationship with Fluttershy anymore. Discord, stop! I will, just as soon as she's gone. Then we can have a good laugh about this whole affair over our regular Tuesday tea. Don't worry, Fluttershy. We'll stop him. <laughs> I'm doing her a favor, Fluttershy. It's a lovely dimension. White sand beaches, an attentive wait staff. I mean, okay, the humidity isn't great, but where isn't that the case these days? I don't understand why you're doing this. We were all getting along so well. As well as we could, considering you've already stopped all over our friendship by inviting her to the biggest night of the year, as if I didn't matter at all. Did you really think I'd abandon you just because I have a new friend? Yes, because that's what you did. No, Discord. I invited a friend to a party. I didn't abandon you. What if you had a friend that you could discuss chaos-based magic with? Would that mean we weren't friends anymore? Uh, no, I suppose not. It would just mean that I'd have different friends for different things. Oh, oh, oh dear, it looks like I've perhaps overreacted just a scotch. More like a lot of scotches! Treehugger, could you give us a minute? I'm just so new with this whole friendship thing. It's so much more complicated than it looks. Do you think maybe you owe some pony an apology? <gasps> Not me. Oh, oh, <clears throat> yes, right. A uh, tree hugger. I'm sorry that you got caught in the middle of my, you know, wrath. Oh, it's all groovy. Um, I need, like, a few minutes to clear out my chakras before I can hug you from a place of authenticity. Oh, your chakras. Yes. Fair enough. I owe you an apology, Smooth. 
I spent the whole evening thinking about my own feelings and never thinking about yours. Well, friends, I think I may actually grow to like this multiple friend thing. I like it too. Hey, it's not a party until some pony spreads magic resistant ooze uncontrollably over the ballroom. Come on! Sorry, Princess Celestia. I thought I could give you a break tonight, but it turns out I was in over my head. You have nothing to apologize for. This has been the most fun gala in years. I know. It was a what? But there was ooze all over the place, and one of the guests threatened to send some pony to another dimension. I know. Can you imagine how dull it would have been if I hadn't invited Discord? Come on! <laughs> The night is still young. <laughs> Understand the ponies in this town. Everywhere I went, they were all gussied up and looking at me funny. Kept asking if I was nervous. Did they forget the wedding is tomorrow? No, maybe they're just as excited for us to be married as I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to feel awfully silly when they realize they've got the wrong date. Ah, the invitations are wrong! This says the wedding is today! but I got such a good deal on them. Every pony in town got these. The princesses have even RSVP'd. I told you we should have eloped. Oh dear, the caterer, the flowers, the musicians. We've got to move it all to today. What? Where's my wedding platter? You told me you could do it for half what the others charge, and then you sent invitations to every pony in town with the wrong date. <gasps> Muffin? My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? I really messed up on those invitations. I feel just awful, Doc. <laughs> Perhaps that explains why I never got mine. I told Cranky I could get them printed for cheap, but that meant hiring some pony with no experience using a printing press. Oh, I wish there was a way I could go back in time and fix all this. Going back in time is old thinking, my friend. I was working off a cutting-edge theory of making time come forward to you. My life's work, decades, centuries really, of research and experimentation, and I really had it cracked. Turns out there's a magic spell for it. Who knew? But there are so many things that magic can't explain, where science and mathematics are the real magic. Like these? They're pretty. Ah, yes, my flameless fireworks. I never could quite figure out how to get them to ignite. How did you learn to make all this stuff anyway? I've been studying science my whole life. Ever since a particularly traumatic experience as a phone, I've been looking for ways to make sense of the world around me. Science provides explanations of things we never thought possible. Now, uh, why did we come here again? Yeah. Oh, because I accidentally sent out invitations for Cranky and Matilda's wedding with today's date instead of tomorrow's. Great wickering stallions. I completely forgot. And I still need to get my suit tailored. Rarity? Rarity! Ah! <laughs> Uh, 
please! You've got to help me! I lost track of time, unbelievably, and forgot that the wedding is this afternoon! Have you seen Renity? She's got to alter the sleeves of my suit, and she's got to do it now! Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. Lead on, my friend. Eh, uh, why have you brought me here? Rarity would never set hoof in. Great wickering stallions, they've got style. Gentle coats, I'm facing certain calamity, and I couldn't help noticing your remarkable fashion sense. Could I get the name of your incredible tailor? Well, yeah, man. His name is me. Me. What an unfortunate name. No, man. Like, I manufacture all my own garments. We all do, man. Then you've got to help me. I need this suit tailored. It's an emergency. <laughs> Sorry, man. We're just about to start the finals. What's this word you keep using, man? I don't know, man, but guess what? A fourth didn't show, so if you roll with us, we'll alter your suit for you. I'm sorry, gentle coats, but I will not bowl. The splits, the spares, there are simply too many variables. Variables? What are you talking about, man? Just throw the ball straight. Hold on. Straight? Very well. I'll try your straight technique. It just might be crazy enough to work. Do we know what they're wrong about? The way they're huddled up like that, I'd say it's either a friendship problem or a monster attack. A monster attack? Blast! I'm performing at the ceremony this afternoon and I still haven't sorted out what to play. How am I meant to practice with a monster invading Ponyville? Maybe it's just a friendship problem, and it'll all be cleared up in a half an hour or so. Uh, I hope so. Where's Pinkie Pie? I need my wedding planner! entire wedding from tomorrow to today. But no ponies asked me to organize anything since Twilight came to town. So you'll do it? I used to be the best organizer in all of Ponyville. You bet I'll. No! Come on, we better get to the salon before that monster flattens it. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? Flowers! You want Matilda's arrangements today? This is awful! The horror! The horror! So there's no way you can do it? We don't even have Matilda's flowers in yet, much less arranged. Oh, this is a disaster! Okay, thanks anyway. Oh, look, girls! A broken stem on one of the zinnias! What? Oh, the horror! The horror! I have to admit, when Matilda said we needed this place ready by today, I was a little nervous. With you by my side, I knew we'd get it done in time. There is nothing like a best friend, is there? Anything's possible when you know some pony as well as we know each other. What was that? There's some monster attacking Ponyville or something. What is it this time? A creature from the Everfree Forest? Uh, I think it's some sort of bugbear. <laughs> Did you say bugbear? It found me! What are you talking about, Bonbon? Bon? My name isn't Bonbon. Bon. 
It's Special Agent Sweetie Drops. I work for a super secret anti monster agency in Canterlot. Or at least I did until the bugbear went missing from Tartarus a few years back. What are you talking about? When it escaped, we had to shutter the whole agency. Every last shred of evidence of the organization's existence was destroyed. Celestia demanded complete deniability. What? It was me who captured the bugbear. I had to go deep cover here in Ponyville and assume the name Bonbon. Bon. I never thought it'd be able to track me, but now it has. Are you saying our whole friendship was based on a lie? I'm sorry, Lyra. I couldn't tell you for your own protection. But, but, but the lunches, the, the long talks, the benches we've sat on, none of that was real? It was all real. You're my very best friend. I've got to go find a crowd to blend into before I put you in danger. I'll see you at the wedding. Fine, but we're going to talk about this later. I need my ring today, no matter the cost. As long as it doesn't cost any extra. 710 split, man. Harshest of the harsh. But if you pick this up, we win the whole shebang. Doc! I finally figured out how I can help! Your flameless fireworks look just like flowers! I'll use them for the wedding! Great wickering stallions! Wait! Wait! The flameless fireworks are extremely volatile! Without knowing what the trigger is, they could go off at any moment! My word, is that a bugbear? Oh, there are so many things I'm forgetting. I hope Cranky remembers to tell the musicians. Oh, oh, I'll never get my mane done in time. You must relax, my dear. We can handle anything. We once did a pony's hair during the ceremony. Oh, it's true, it's true. They really are the best. Matilda, I've just got to say, I already feel like we're family. You do? Of course! I'm Stephen Magnet, Cranky's best beast. You're Stephen Magnet? Well, what'd you expect, Bugbear? I've known Cranky forever! Surely he must have told you about the time he saved me from Flash Freeze Lake? You're Stephen Magnet. Oh, I know, I know! Typical cranky to leave out minor details, like the fact that I'm, you know, a sea monster, right? <laughs> I just love that old burrow. I'm sorry, Stephen. I guess I assumed you were a pony. And I had no idea you had such adventures together. Oh, honey, you don't know the half of it. But let me tell you something. In all that we've been through together, the only thing he ever cared about What's finding you? Really? Well, that and a baldness cure. <laughs> he is the sweetest thing, isn't he? All the stress I've put myself through, all the stress I've put him through, the only thing that matters is that we're together. The wedding isn't the important thing, the marriage is. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> if you believe that, I have got a bridge to sell you. All these ponies traveling to Ponyville, putting on uncomfortable clothes, sitting through a long ceremony. You think any of them care about the marriage? No, 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 no. Honey, the wedding is everything. These wedding songs are so standard. I want Matilda and Cranky's wedding to be special. but I'm not sure that's appropriate for a wedding, is it? <gasps> that's more 
like it? Is it nothing more than the endless search for a cutie mark? And what is a cutie mark but a constant reminder that we're all only one bugbear attack away from oblivion? And what of the poor gator, flank forever blank, destined to an existential swim down the river of life to an unknowable destiny? might work what do you mean you left it on the counter I thought you were bringing it oh, well this is just wonderful I handled the gift for cadence and shining armor you were supposed to do this one remember well we can't just come to this wedding empty hoofed <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. He always cries at weddings. <laughs> Usually it's not until the wedding starts. These flameless fireworks look even better than flowers. <laughs> Attention, every pony. Our friends have done it. They've defeated the bugbear. <laughs> hey. Hello. So, uh, you didn't happen to mention our earlier conversation about my secret identity to any pony, did you? No, I did not. And you're not the only one with a secret, you know. You know those expensive imported oats you were saving for a special occasion? I cooked them up and ate them. All of them. <laughs> it's sort of thrilling to reveal your deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> That's what best friends are for. Next time, you can just bring your own gift and I'll bring mine. Fine. There you are! My suit has vanished and this was the only thing left in my closet. How do I look? Like a million bits. Great wickering stallions! Look at the time! We'd better get inside. Allons-y! I can't believe I lost my hair! I look ridiculous. The love of my life deserves better than this! Have no fear, Cranky, my dear! It's Stephen Magnet's mustache to the rescue! Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, no problem. Now you get in there and marry that donkey. Well, is every pony here? Oh, Seth Mayor. 
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join these two in matrimony. As I look around this room, I can only imagine how uncomfortable Cranky must be. <laughs> but I also see so many ponies from all trots of life, brought together by love. Cranky searched all across this great land of ours to find Matilda. And no matter what obstacles kept them apart, love would finally bring them together, just as it has brought all of us together now. It's remarkable to me how a story like Cranky's Search for Matilda could fill this room with such a unique collection of ponies. It makes you realize that every pony is the star of their own story. And it's not just the main characters in our stories that make life so rich. It's every pony. Those who play big parts and those who play small. If it weren't for every pony in this room and many more who couldn't be here today, Cranky and Matilda's lives wouldn't be as full and vibrant as they are. <laughs> and so, in front of all these loved ones, Cranky, do you take this donkey to be your lawfully wedded wife? You bet I do. And do you, Matilda, take this donkey to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Then I'm proud to say, I now pronounce you Jack and Jenny. <laughs> You know something, girls? We are so lucky to live in this town. I love you all. Ow! That's where the bug bear bit me. Sorry. <sighs> you know the worst thing about you being the princess of friendship? The dishes. Thanks for taking care of that, Spike. After three events in one week, I really needed to relax with a good book. That's well, kind of funny, isn't it? All these ponies coming to you for advice about friendship. What's funny about that? You know, because you used to be famous for being such a bad friend. What are you talking about? I had good friends in Canterlot. Come on, Twilight. Look at the wall. Do you see any photos from before we moved to Ponyville? And look at you now, the princess of friendship. This is a disaster! All my old friends. I can't remember any of their names right now. But do you really think that they think I'm a bad friend? Well, I only meant that you've come so far. Well, you're a great friend now and... Oh, I feel terrible! I've got to make it up to them. Pack a bag, Spike. We're going to Canterlot. And make a list of my friends' names. Uh, me and my big mouth. Tons of fun! A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Come on, Twilight. You're getting worked up about nothing. The only logical place to start is at the beginning. Oh, it's exactly how we left it. <gasps> Look, it's predictions and prophecies, and it's still open to the elements of harmony. And here's that present I was going to give Moondancer. 
Mm, guess you won't be needing that. Hey, look! The rest of it's still here! How could I have let this happen? Come on, Twilight. Princess Celestia gave you an assignment. No pony could blame you for that. But look at the way I left this place. It's a total mess! Just like how I left my friendships. I've got to make it up to... Oh! Uh, Minuet, Twinkle Shine, Lemon Hearts, Lyra Heartstrings, and Moon Dancer. Yeah. Them. We've got work to do. Have you been awake all night? I did a little research, and I think I know where we can find Minuet. That is one of my friends, right? Uh, it's not too late to forget I opened my big mouth. Oh, Spike, I'm glad you opened your big mouth. These ponies have probably been suffering ever since I left, wondering why their supposed friend would treat them so badly. Inuit? Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> you old so-and-so! What are you doing here? Hey, Spike! Look at these wings, huh? <laughs> hey, grab a picture of me and the princess, will ya? I tried to tell my co-workers we used to be friends back when, <laughs> but they've never believed me. Wait, wait, wait. Really fluff them up, huh? <laughs> so what are you doing here? I mean, I know you're here all the time, but you never come to see me. Hey! I just had the greatest idea! You want to go see Lemon Hearts and Twinkle Shine? Of course! My old friends! It'll be great! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! Get it? <laughs> this is perfect. I can apologize to all three of them at once. Let's hope they're not as traumatized as Minuet. <laughs> she did! Twinkle Shine literally spit out her oats when she heard you were the princess of friendship. Oh, we saw you at the coronation. That was some shindig. You did? Sure. Oh, we see you all the time. You remember our old friend Lyra, right? <laughs> she lives in Ponyville, too. We're always over there visiting her. Or she's coming over here. <laughs> We've thought about asking you to join us from time to time, but we just sort of figured you'd moved on. Oh. So what brings you by anyway? All those times you've come back to Canterlot, you've never had donuts with us before. Well, uh, you see... I came to apologize. For what? Before I left Canterlot, I didn't really appreciate my friends. And that's because I didn't know how important friendship was. But I've learned so much since I moved to Ponyville. I learned what it means to be a good friend, and that I certainly wasn't one to the three of you. So for all the pain I caused you, I am truly sorry. <laughs> oh, come on, Twilight! Sure, it might have stung a little bit when you ran off to Ponyville without saying goodbye, but it's not like we weren't used to that from you. Yeah, we didn't take it personally. But it's really good to see you now. Hey, any pony up for a blast from the past? <gasps> it's our old science lab. I have so many great memories of this place. <laughs> Remember when Lemon Hearts got her head stuck in that beaker? <laughs> <laughs> But according to this book, you're supposed to add the sodium chloride first. I read ahead, and to make a proper salt lick, you need to add the molasses first. Well, I read ahead too, Moon Dancer, and I'm sure it said sodium chloride first. Oh, I've got the wrong book. That's so hilarious. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Whatever happened to Moondancer? Moondancer? Yeah, you know, our other friend. Oh, right, Moondancer. I remember her. I wonder what she's up to. Yeah, I always liked her. We just sort of lost touch after you left. I think she went to live out by the stadium, didn't she? Well, let's go see. I think this is the place. Didn't used to look like this, though. <gasps> Moon Dancer? What do you want? I'm trying to study. It's us, your old friends. Ugh. <laughs> That's old Moon Dancer, all right. She always did like her books. Hey, kind of like you used to be, huh? <laughs> exactly how I used to be. Twilight. We've been watching her for three days. Library house. Library house. That's it. No pony looks at her or says hello or even gives her a smile. It's like she doesn't even exist. Was she always like this? Well, she always was a little shy, but for a while there she was really starting to come out of her shell. Remember when she threw that party? Oh, right. I think you might have been busy that day. There you are, Twilight. Moon Dancer is having a little get together in the West Castle courtyard. You want to come? Oh, sorry, girls. I got a lot of studying to catch up on. Thought she might finally be letting her guard down a little with that party. We invited her out a few times after that, but she was always too busy studying. So eventually, we just stopped asking. I had no idea that party was so important to her. I've got to find a way to make it up to her. to catch up. For what purpose? You know, because we're friends. Shh. I'm really sorry to bother you. I was just hoping we could go outside and talk for a bit. You did once, and I was so caught up in my own studying that I didn't take your feelings into account. Look, Twilight Twinkle. Sparkle. Whatever. I just need to be alone so I can study without some crazy pony trying to make friends, all right? Fine. Wait. How did you get into my book like that? I've been studying a new studying technique. I can only do it for a few minutes, but you'd be amazed how much you can pick up when you're actually in a book. That's one of Haycart's methods. You know Haycart? Of course, he's a genius. I have a copy of his treaties on ponies, you know. <gasps> what is this place? This is where I used to live. You mean, I never had you over? Wow, <gasps> a first edition of Principles of Magic. Hey. Didn't I give this to you? Maybe? I did! Look, I even wrote something. 
to my friend Twilight Sparkle. Thanks for introducing me to the classics. I can see by the fact that you left it here that it meant a lot to you. Look, I didn't bring you over here for even more poignant reminders of what a bad friend I was. I brought you here to give you this. You can come here whenever you want and study to your heart's content. Really? But first, you've got to do something for me. What? Have dinner with our old friends tonight. I can't. I'm reorganizing my biology schools. I've been spending a lot of time with Minuet, Twinkle Shine, and Lemon Heart since I've been back. They really miss you. Look, I already told you. The last thing I need is a bunch of ridiculous friend making keeping me from studying. Moon Dancer, wait! A wise pony once taught me that there's more to life than dusty old books. I tried friendship, and it's just not for me. Now, if you'll excuse me. What if I taught you Hakart's method? So, uh, what are you studying these days? Science, magic, history, economics, pottery, things like that. Yowza! <laughs> You planning on being a professor or something? No. So you're just studying. Can I go now? Moon Dancer, please. It's all right, Twilight. We're having a good time. Right, every pony? <laughs> so, uh. Spike, tell Moon Dancer that story about how Twilight had to read a book about doing the sleepover. <gasps> Slumber 101? I've read that. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, uh, did you know Lemonheart's here works at the Canterlot Palace? Uh, yeah, it's true. I do the big events mostly. State dinners, that sort of thing. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Moon Dancer, you've got to give friendship a chance. Duh. I gave friendship a chance a long time ago. It didn't work out then, it isn't gonna work out now. Twilight, are you all right? No, no I'm not. W where are you going? I don't know, Spike. I really messed this one up. That party was everything to her. I can only imagine what it must have felt like when I didn't show up. Hey, Moon Dancer! Look at this spread, huh? Thank you so much for coming. Of course. We wouldn't miss one of our best friend's parties. Is Twilight coming? Oh, okay. Hey! We'll still have fun, right? <laughs> sure. There's only a way to undo the damage. I know what I need to do, and I know just who can help me. Ha! Huh. Guess they must have gone back to Ponyville. But not to throw in the towel. I went to get my secret weapon. Minuet, meet. Hey, Pinkie Pie! Hi, Minuet! Twilight, you didn't say Minuet would be here. You two know each other? Oh, sure. She was one of Cadence's bridesmaids. We hang out all the time when she's in Ponyville. Didn't you know that? Huh? And you call yourself the princess of friendship. Twilight briefed me on the way here. We'll need 15 bags of confetti and as many hooves as we can get. Let's go! We can pass by the donut place on the way. And what are we gonna do? Just come with me. Ooh, a brief history of the wagon harness. Life in times of Marwari the Mainless? <gasps> what is this? 
It's a party for you. Surprise! Come on in. A thanks, but no thanks. I don't do parties. I know, and I think it's my fault. Back when we were in school together, you invited me to a party. I was so focused on my studies that I didn't show up. Big deal. It was a big deal. And now that I realize how important friendship is, I'd like to make up for my mistake with a new party. A party in honor of my friend Moon Dancer. Please, you've got to let me make this up to you. And you think this is gonna do it, huh? Uh, yes? Well, sure, why wouldn't it? That was only the first time I ever put myself out there, and then you didn't even bother to show up. Then you left town without saying goodbye, even though we were supposed to be friends. I was humiliated. I felt like I wasn't important. I never wanted to let myself be hurt like that again. Those three finally convinced me that I had value, that other ponies might like me and want to be my friend, and you didn't show up! You're right. This party can't make up for the way I hurt you. But please, don't let my mistake be the reason you can't be friends with any pony else. We were your friends then, and we'd be honored to be your friends now. <laughs> what? That's the librarian, the bookseller. My sister! You've got a lot of friends, Moon Dancer. I'm sorry, Moon Dancer. I've faced magical creatures, the end of Equestria, all sorts of things. But seeing how my actions affected you, that was one of the worst feelings I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you, Twilight. I never realized how much I needed to hear that. Now, come on, every pony! Let's party! Right? Right! I think it's time for us to go, Moon Dancer. Thank you for helping me make some new friends, even if they are my old friends. Oh, we'll come back and visit soon. That would be great. You still got to teach me that hay cart technique. Deal. Um, Moon Dancer, it got kind of banged up, but here's a little something I wanted to give you back at your first party. Saddles, don't you just love my new femme mystique chic line of gowns? Sequins and sashes, Rarity, they're exquisite. Where in Equestria did you find the inspiration? Oh, I modeled them after the adventures of Shadow Spade. Her stories are always full of mystery and suspense, and best of all, fabulous costumes! They're perfect. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, uh, just making some minor adjustments. Shadow Spade believes it all comes down to attention to detail. And so do I. There. Now it's perfect. Hey, guys! How's it going? <laughs> My bad. My little pony, my little pony. Could be until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. 
A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Didn't you know you are my very best friends. Oh, sorry I messed up your dress thingy. Nothing we can't fix in a stitch. What are you doing in Candelot? I'm here for Princess Celestia's Royal Garden opening tomorrow. Oh, yes. Rumor has it the gardens are especially lush this season. I've heard that the Wonder Bolts will be kicking things off with an aerial display. You heard right. And Rainbow Dash is here to fly with them. So exciting. Well, kind of exciting. Technically, I'm not flying. I'm just the lucky reserve who was called in to be the backup flyer in case a Wonderbolt can't perform. Oh, don't be so modest. Out of all the reserves, you were the one chosen. It is pretty sweet. And I do get to stay in the castle, hang out with the Wonderbolts, and eat awesome food at the dinner tonight. Speaking of the dinner, you're still coming, right? Heavens, yes. A chance to dress up, be charming, and show off my newest feministic couture. I would miss it for all of Equestria. Great. See you tonight. Oh my, oh, there's been a mistake. I ordered dragon cut stones, and these are hoof polished. I'm sorry, but I've got a full load of deliveries today. I'm not sure I have time to redo your order. Oh, of course you don't. Your job is so difficult. Honestly, I don't know how you keep all of those orders straight. <laughs> oh, it is pretty tough. And what with the boxes all being box-shaped. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. And I very much appreciate it. But if there was any way you could squeeze in one more little delivery, I would be eternally grateful. <laughs> <laughs> well, for you, Rarity, I'll see what I can do. Rarity, you could sweet talk a filly out of candy. Oh, <laughs> it was nothing. No pony minds a compliment. Now, you simply must help me pick out an outfit for tonight. Something from the new collection, of course. Let's grab some grub! Juniper Phoenix, I smell? No, it's broccoli. Yeah, Juniper Phoenix is one of my favorite styan colognes. Mmm, mine as well. It's masculine and it's soft, with the barest hint of floral notes. Mary, a... don't you know who this is? A gentle pony with fabulous taste in colognes and scarves? It's Wind Rider! So nice to meet you. You didn't let me finish. He's a living legend. He holds the Wonderbolt record in the Mustang Marathon. Well, that was a long time ago. Honestly, I can't believe I still hold the record. Windrider, I see you met Rainbow Dash. She's one of our most promising reserves. She just might beat your record. Really now? Oh, I'm nowhere near as good as you. I mean, I'm fast, but I don't have the endurance to go long distances. Oh, don't be modest. A little practice and you'll be beating records in no time. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Phillies. <sighs> Not as nice as it is to meet you, sir. <gasps> I can't believe I just met Wind Rider. Yeah, he's coming out of retirement to take the spot of honor in the center of our aerial flower formation tomorrow. <gasps> really? That's incredible! Guess I'll just watch Wind Rider being awesome from the sidelines. Practice tomorrow was gonna be so boring. I don't suppose I could keep you company? You could! They always let friends and family come watch practices. Mm -hmm. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me help clean that up. Oh, no, no. It's almost impossible to get stains out of silk. But not to worry. I've come prepared. 
That dinner was absolutely divine. Thanks for inviting me. Ooh, you're staying in the East Tower? Those rooms have the best view of Canterlot. How lucky are we? Well, we better get some shut-eye before practice. See you tomorrow, Rarity. Good night! <sighs> Thanks for keeping me company, Rarity. If you weren't here, well, I don't know who I'd be talking to right now. Uh, you'd be talking to me. Rainbow Dash, Spitfire's mom sent a message that she was sick. She had to leave to take care of her. <gasps> oh, no! I hope her mom's okay. Me too. In the meantime, we need you to fly at her place. Like, in the actual show? Unless Spitfire comes back, yes. I won't let you down, Soren. Ah! This is the best thing ever! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm gonna get to fly with Wind Rider and the Wonder Bolt because I'm the fastest and I'm awesome and they know it. Uh, Rainbow Dash? <laughs> Let her have this, darling. <laughs> Family. Family? My daughter's a Wonderbolt, but I don't see her up there. Do you know Spitfire? Oh, you're Spitfire's mom? But I thought you were sick. What? Well, Spitfire got a note from you saying you weren't feeling well, and she went home to take care of you. I didn't send a note. That's so strange. Stormy Flare? Aren't you supposed to be sick? Okay, what's happening? I don't know, but I do know I didn't send my daughter a note. Could some pony have sent Spitfire a fake note? Who would do such a thing? Some pony who wanted her out of the show, I suppose. Why would any pony want that? Maybe so they could take her spot. Me? I would never do that to Spitfire. Why would you think it was me? I did see you and Spitfire leave the dinner together. We were room neighbors in the castle. And you did say you would do anything to fly with Wind Rider. Yeah, but I didn't mean anything. Spitfire came by my room and told me she had to go see her mom at around midnight. Where were you then? I was asleep at midnight, having this totally amazing dream. There I was at the arena, flying with Wind Rider and the Wonderbolts, like I've always wanted to. Uh, never mind, not helping. Rainbow Dash, if you can prove that some pony else is behind Spitfire's disappearance before the start of the show, then you can still fly with us. In the meantime, Misty Fly, Blaze, head over to Stormy Flare's house and try to find Spitfire and bring her back. Well, I have to warn you, if you sent that letter, the bylaws are clear. I'd have no choice but to ban you from the Wonderbolts forever. Understand? <sighs> I understand. But how am I gonna prove I didn't send a letter that I didn't send? With me! Detective Rarity is on the case, and we're going to get to the bottom of this faster than my costume change! Yeah, what's with the get-up? Obviously, I am channeling Shadow Spade through these gorgeous garments, and she would say that the best way to prove that you didn't send the letter is to find out whoever did. First up, the scene of the crime! We had a long road ahead of us, Rainbow Dash and I. Well, not too long because we didn't have much time, but the point is, I was up for the challenge. There I was, surveying the crime scene and looking tray chic while doing it. This must be the envelope for the letter Spitfire got. Hmm. These look like hairs from a rainbow mane. That's not good. Rainbow Dash was getting antsy, but I had faith I could clear her name and find the real culprit. What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh just thinking thoughts.
Rainbow Dash was right. In order to solve the mystery, we had to be focused, driven, 100% in the... Ooh! The damask pattern on these curtains is exquisite! Oh, and this velvet rope holder. Oh, it's just... Ugh, we don't have time to look at the decor. They're gonna kick me out of the Wonder Bolts unless we solve this thing. I know, Rainbow. And I'm on this case like a charm on a bracelet. Here's what I'm thinking. Some pony had to bring Spitfire that letter, which means some pony must have seen them. I just have a few questions for you, and I'm sure once we get some things cleared up, we'll... Come on, Rarity. We don't have all day. Where were you on the night of last night at midnight? We were here, guarding the hallway entrance like we were supposed to. A likely story. I'm telling you, we were there all night, and no one went in or out of that hallway. Except for you. What are you trying to say? Just that there are only two rooms in the Northwest Wing, yours and Spitfire's. So the only other pony who had access to that wing was you. The waters were getting choppy. Rainbow Dash's tactics were, well, horrid. It was time for another approach. Perhaps I should take it from here? You castle guards have such a difficult job. I'm guessing that at times it can be rather boring. It is. I've counted all 345 bolts in the ceiling tiles 293 times. And of course, being a castle guard can be thankless work. I'm not saying you did, but if you took a break, you more than deserved it. Oh, you're right. We don't get a lot of recognition for what we do. Except for last night when some pony was nice enough to leave a cake for us. So we did take one little break when we ate that cake. What kind of cake was it? Cherry with a custard filling. Was the frosting vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate. Was the base of the cake decorated with buttercream rosettes? It was. Ugh! Who cares how it was decorated? Rainbow Dash was questioning my methods, but I knew what I was doing. Do you? Oh, oh, oh. Did I say that one out loud? I mean, even I think I'm guilty at this point. I really did want to fly in that show. What if I wrote that note when I was asleep? Do you know what I do when I sleep? Because I sure don't. Oh, calm down, Rainbow Dash. We'll get to the bottom of this. There's only one bakery in Cantalot that makes a chocolate cherry cake with custard filling and buttercream frosting rosettes, and that's Cinnamon Chai's Tea and Cake Shop. Hello. How can I help you? I've heard you have the best chocolate cherry custard cake with buttercream frosting rosettes in town. Oh, you travel in the right circles. We have the only chocolate cherry custard cake with buttercream frosting rosettes in town. Oh, no, but some pony's already bought it. Who was the lucky pony? I can't even say. Why? Because it was some pony famous? No. Because it was hard to tell. She was wearing a trench coat, sunglasses, and a scarf around her head that covered most of her face. But I do remember she had a really deep, raspy voice. What do you mean, raspy? Well, kind of like yours. If there's anything else you can remember, dish. Well, have I got a story for you? The pony who bought the cake threw a big fit when she accidentally got chocolate ganache on her scarf. That's terrible. What color was the scarf? White. No, maybe more an ivory. You don't say. I can't believe you're talking fashion at a time like this. Rainbow, don't panic. I need you to trust me. Trust you? You've spent more time changing clothes than trying to help me. I'm doomed. No, you're not. Come on. Rainbow Dash was obviously upset, but I had all my ducks in a row. Except one. She was not going to like it. But there was only one way to find out if my suspicions were correct. We looked everywhere, but Spitfire wasn't at her mom's house. Where could she be? I found the culprit! Some pony sent Spitfire away and framed Rainbow Dash for it. And that pony was none other than... Rarity, I can't believe you would accuse Windrider of framing me. He's a living 
legend for pony's sake. All the evidence points to him. <laughs> what evidence could you possibly have? All you did was ask about cake, admire decor, and change outfits a gazillion times. Let me explain. I never believed you would send Spitfire away. And when we found the rainbow hairs in Spitfire's room, I could tell they didn't fall out. They were cut. No pony loses hair in a chunk. And look at the ends. It's a straight line. They were clearly cut with shears, which means some pony planted it. Then, when we were examining Spitfire's room, I smelled something on the envelope. Juniper Phoenix, Wind Rider's cologne of choice. Then, in the castle hallway, I noticed some of the damask curtains fell out of their velvet rope holder, indicating that some pony had been hiding behind them. Perhaps after they dropped off the fake letter? Juniper Phoenix is a very popular fragrance, and any pony could have moved those curtains. Precisely why I questioned the castle guards. They were at their post at the entrance to the hallway all night, except for a small window of time when some pony brought them cake. A cake that was ordered by a girl pony with a raspy voice. Whoever ordered the cake got a chocolate stain on their ivory scarf. And I couldn't help but notice that Wind Rider's scarf is tied in a tight Windsor knot instead of its usual loose slip knot. And why is that? Is it to hide the chocolate stain? <gasps> ah, this is preposterous. Wonderbolts, you don't believe a word of this, right? Just admit it. You're as guilty of framing Rainbow Dash as you are of ruining that ivory scarf. Uh, fine. You caught me. I did it. But why, Wind Rider? Is it because I took the last broccoli at the dinner and you really, really wanted it? No. It was because he was afraid that you would break his long-distance Wonderbolt record. I heard him when Spitfire said you were close to breaking his record. He said, and I quote, <laughs> That's the polite but disingenuous laugh you make when you want to seem happy, but really, you're not. I thought if I could get Rainbow Dash kicked out of the Wonderbolts forever, my record would be preserved. Really? That is so not cool. And I thought you were the coolest Wonderbolt ever, until now. I did what I had to do to protect my record. Sometimes you gotta play dirty to be the best. That's not what being a Wonderbolt is all about. She's right. Wonderbolts look out for each other. Which reminds me, where is Spitfire? I sent her the letter pretending to be Stormy Flare. I told her I had Pegasitis, and the only cure is the Ice Iris in the Crystal Mountains. No wonder she's been gone so long. Ice Irises are almost impossible to find in spring. The Crystal Mountains are too far for any pony to make it there and back before the Royal Garden opening. Rainbow Dash, we need you to fly in Spitfire's place. But Spitfire shouldn't have to miss this. I'm gonna get her. Well, you'll never make it in time. Then there's no time to lose! Rainbow Dash is still gone. Oh, don't panic. If I know Rainbow Dash, she'll come through. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Spitfire, you're back! I can't believe you made it! Ugh, I wouldn't have if Rainbow hadn't found me so fast. Gave me enough time to fly back. Rare, I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm sorry I doubted you, but why didn't you tell me what you were doing? Well, I didn't want to get your hopes up until I was sure. And I couldn't be sure until I saw that chocolate stain. Thank you for believing in me, even when I was doubting you. I'm some friend, huh? Actually, you're quite a good friend. You went to get Spitfire, even though it meant you couldn't fly today. <sighs> I'll get my chance one day. Or today. How'd you like Wind Rider's spot in the show? What? You can't do this to me. I'm one of the greatest Wonder Boats there ever was. Not anymore. For attempting to frame Rainbow Dash, I hereby strip you of your Wonder Bolt status. So, would you like to fly with us? Would I? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Rainbow Dash? Hmm. Coming! So my friend got her moment in the sun, or the center of an aerial flower, as the case may be. And as for me, I got a chance to show off my Femme Mystique chic collection. That's nice, dear. Oh, did I say that 
out loud. Jack, are you sure you've never managed a concert before? Well, it turns out doing up a concert's the same as setting up a rodeo. And thanks to Pinky's Connections organizing the Pony Palooza Rock Concert, we've got quite a lineup for the Helping Hooves Music Festival. Wally! Applejack! Oh, Dirty! Water shy! Spice! Pinky Pie! Oh, wait, that's me. Every Pony! What is it, Pinky? I have the most amazing news ever. It is totally gonna break your friends! Well, spill it, Pinky. It wasn't easy. In fact, it was terribly difficult. But I have managed to book the biggest pony pop star in all of Equestria as the main attraction of the Helping Hoops Music Festival! Sapphire Shores? Sapphire Shores? Please! Sapphire Shores is merely the second biggest pony pop star in Equestria. I have booked the one, the only, Countess Coloratura! Who in the hay is Countess Coloratura? <gasps> My friends have been freaked! My little pony, my little pony. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you are my very best friends? Pinkie Pie, who is this Countess Coloratura pony? Uh, I just told you that she's the biggest pony pop star in Equestria how, 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 how have you not heard of her? Don't know. Though I did know a gal named Coloratura when I was just a filly. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be the funniest thing if that Coloratura and this Coloratura were the same Coloratura? <laughs> Do you mean to tell me that you actually know Countess Coloratura? Well, I don't think it's the same pony since my friend wasn't any sort of highfalutin countess. Do you remember her cutie mark? Sure do. It had this super colorful bunch of musical notes that just shimmered in the light. You mean, like this? Well, fancy that. That there's the very same cutie mark. Do you have any idea the number of hoops I had to jump through to get her to perform at the festival? A whole lot of hoops! That pony is very demanding! No. Yeah! I completely understand. We artists require certain necessities in order to do our best work. This was clearly some sort of misunderstanding, because Ra Ra was just as down home as me. Ra Ra? Even that big name was too fancy for her, so I shortened Color Ra Chur Ra to Ra Ra. We had the best time at Camp Friendship. Ra Ra was just so easy going. We were like two apples from the same branch. Ra Ra and I prepared this song for the Camp Talent Show. When we performed, she belted it out, singing in the most colorful, clear voice I'd ever heard. Equestria, the land I love, a land of harmony. Our flag does wave from high above for pony kind to see. Equestria, a land of friends, where pony. camp, we wrote to each other for a bit, but then we lost touch. But Ra Ra always did want to go to Manhattan to try and make it big. But a demanding diva? Just you wait, Pinky. Once Ra Ra gets here, you'll see she's just a plain old pony like you and me. I don't have to wait! She's here! Really?
Step back. Keep your hooves and tails to yourselves. No, that can't be her. <clears throat> um, hi. Remember me? We met at Camp Friendship. I, I gave you the nickname Rara. AJ? Yeah. <laughs> Howdy, Rara. <laughs> You've got hoovesies from Countess Coloratora. Look! Oh, she clearly thinks you're very special. Hoovesies. 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 <laughs> yeah, real special. Now that's how you make an entrance. Big, bold, absolutely stunning. Though it was muddied a bit with your interaction with that dusty farm pony, do you actually know her? Oh, yeah. That's my childhood Philly friend, AJ. She was the one that started calling me Rara. Oh, yes. How cute and common. Of course, I was the one that started calling you Countess. And just look at how you've moved up in Equestria since then. Why, you've gotten everything you've ever wanted. Speaking of which, where is the pony, Pinkie Pie? Oh, I'm the pony, Pinkie Pie, Mr. Manager, sir. Do you have the water imported from Rainbow Falls that I requested for Countess Coloratura? I have 20 glass containers full right here. Did I not tell you to provide straws in all of Countess Coloratura's beverages? Uh, I don't think so. But lucky for you, I have the biggest straw collection in Equestria. I call this straw Fernando. Let us confirm that you acquired the rest of the items that Countess Coloratura requested before she performs her run-through, shall we? Oh, we shall! Floral arrangements from the Royal Canterlot Gardens, chocolate eclairs made by Gustave Legrand, a selection of crystals from the Crystal Empire, freshly picked cherries from Cherry Jubilee's farm, separated red from yellow. Absolutely! Well, by some miracle, your requests have been reasonably met. So let us move on to rehearsal. See, Applejack? Demanding. Pinky's right, Rarity. The Rara I knew didn't hide behind a veil giving out fake stamp kisses, sipping up imported water, and needing her cherry separated. Oh, I do understand. Sometimes it's hard to see our friends change. She's become a whole other pony. Trust me, once you see Countess Coloratura perform, you simply won't believe it. Time for the spectacle, time for the show. The lights are bright and the colors glow. I'm not just any pony, I think you know. The time is now, it's about to go. Shining star, thanks to the sparkling costumes, dazzling choreography, and brilliant vocal effects that I designed, your performance was spectacular, Countess Coloradora. Oh, thank you, Sven Gallup. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but that feller isn't actually complimenting Rara. He's complimenting all the bells and whistles he's piled on to make her Countess Coloratura. Oh, no, 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 you don't understand, Applejack. Creating all those elements is a lot of work, and Countess Coloratura's performance wouldn't exist without them. If you ask me, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. 
Oh, if we're all done here, I'd love to go back to my trailer and rest, Sven Gallop. Actually, right now you're scheduled for your meet and greet with the school ponies. Oh, I can totally get you out of meeting with the school ponies, Countess. Absolutely not. My favorite part of any event is meeting with the school ponies. The school ponies will be so happy to hear that, Rara. Ponyville School Ponies! As part of the Helping Hooves Music Festival, I'm holding a contest where some of you will get a chance to sing with me on stage at the concert tomorrow. Sound fun? Yeah! 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 All right! Now who wants more hoovesies? Yeah! Now that's more like the rah-rah I remember. But I got everything you requested. That was for Countess Coloratura. This is for me. And what I want is premium oats. Oh, well, we have lots of tasty oats right here in Ponyville. I would not feed those to a chicken. I want top of the line Appaloosan oats. Next, it appears that we are surrounded by apple trees. Bring me 500 pre-peeled, pre-cored apples, and I want those things in 24 hours. Do you want me to pull Countess Coloratura from your little podunk charity show? Because I will. Applejack, Sven Gallop just made all of these new demands and he's a... I heard, Pinky, but don't you fret. I'll talk to Rara and fix things right up. Did you see, sis? Did you see? Is this the little sister you wrote to me about, AJ? Hold on, Applejack. You wrote to Countess Coloratura about me? AJ said you were the best little sister ever, Apple Bloom. All right now, you best get along, little ponies. <laughs> uh, hey, Raw Raw, you mind if I talk to you about your manager? Sure, what about him? Well, while you were meeting with the school ponies, he was demanding all sorts of stuff from Pinkie Pie. Sven Gallup works very hard as my manager, AJ, so if he needs some things when we're on the road, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Well, do you see something wrong with him telling Pinky that if she doesn't get those things by tomorrow, he'd pull you from our charity festival? What? But he knows how important charity is to me, and leaving the festival would completely ruin my image. I'm afraid Sven Gallup doesn't give a pickled pippin about your charity work. That's not true. Sven Gallup has always supported me in all my interests. You're just saying those things because you're jealous. Jealous of what? A pony who hides behind a veil so thick she can't see when some pony's using her? No, <laughs> I'm not jealous of that, Rara. I am not Rara. I am Countess Coloratura. And while we may have been friends when we were young, we have clearly gone in different directions. Ain't right. He's manipulating her, and she's just not seeing it. Enough stewing. More feeling! Sorry, Pinky, but there is no way I'm letting that lousy Sven Gallop use my friend like that. Oh. Countess Golovachura! Wow, AJ, you said my real name. I said your new name, but I saw the real you hanging out with those school ponies yesterday. And I know some pony that'd prefer if you stop doing those little events. Ugh, not this again. Come on now. You just gotta give me a chance to prove what I'm saying is true. And just how are you going to do that? Do exactly what I say. We'll see if that Sven Gallop truly has your best interests at heart. Sven Gallop? Sven Gallop? Where are you, Sven Gallop? Here I am. Did you need something? Yes. I was considering maybe canceling the contest with the school ponies. Countess, this is wonderful. I've been waiting forever for you to cancel that pointless school pony contest. You have? You do it at every charity event, and it does absolutely nothing to promote the Countess Coloratura image that I built. <laughs> Consider it canceled. Pinkie Pie! Uh, yes, Spengallop, sir? <coughs> We're making some adjustments to the show. Follow me. K 
cancel the contest for the Phillies and schedule me a spa treatment. Now that I don't have to oversee a rehearsal with those brats, I have time for the works. <laughs> you know the drill. Deliver, or the diva ditches your dippy charity. Okay, Countess Coloratura, all taken care of. You, you know, know the, the drill. drill. Deliver, or the diva ditches your dippy charity. So that's how you've been managing things? Yeah, so what's the problem? The problem is, is you've been using my name to intimidate ponies to get what you want. But I work incredibly hard for you. I deserve everything I get. But not because you scare ponies into thinking I won't perform for their charities otherwise. I would never do that to my fans, which is why you should have known that I would never cancel the school ponies contest. Hmm. All this charity and school pony contest nonsense is just remnants of that boring little rah-rah I met back in Manhattan. You clearly don't understand the real me. <laughs> That's a joke. I made you some pony. What can you even do without me? Good luck, Countess Coloratura. Good luck. Oh, Rara, I'm so sorry. Are you gonna be okay for the concert tonight? Of course. After all, the show must go on. Oh my gosh, Rarity, Sven Gallop's right. This is gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna be terrible. Can you give us a minute, Rarity? Certainly. Now, why is it gonna be so terrible? Because Sven Gallop was in charge of everything. The lights, the visuals, the sound. Without Sven Gallop, I have nothing. Now, now, don't go getting yourself into a tizzy there, Rara. Sven Gallop turned you into Countess Coloratura and acted like your friend so we could enjoy the perks that came with being a star. But the real perk of friendship is getting to see your friend being true to their self. And Rara, when you're simply yourself, you're the brightest star I've ever seen shine. Good evening, every pony. Welcome to opening night of the Helping Hooves Music Festival. Now it is my great honor to introduce you to our headlining act, Countess Coloratura! This song may be familiar, but yet it's totally different. Kind of like me, Rah Rah. show you who I am Throw off the veil, it's finally time There's more to me than glitz and glam oh, oh. And now I feel my stars align For I had believed what I was sold I did all
when I arrived at the Helping Hooves Music Festival, I had forgotten who I really was. But then an old friend reminded me what real friendship is about, and she told me that if I was true to myself, I couldn't go wrong. So I have a very special surprise for her. Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo, come on up. Equestria, the land I love, a land of harmony. Our flag does wave. 